Well, hey guys, get excited because in this video, we are gonna be doing a deep dive comparison between Aquaphor healing ointment and CeraVe healing ointment. Many of you have heard about slugging and you want to try your hands at it. You have been asking, which ointment should I use? Which one is better, Aquaphor or CeraVe? So in this video, we're gonna compare the two, we're gonna compare the ingredients, and I'm gonna give you my opinion as to which one I think is the best. I've used both of them extensively. And if you're like, what the heck is she talking about with slugging? Slugging is the practice of using a petrolatum based ointment, whether it be Aquaphor or CeraVe healing ointment, or just plain Vaseline to the skin to reduce transepidermal water loss, improving dryness. It leaves the skin very supple, hydrated, and glowy. I have prior videos discussing slugging, which I will link down below in the description box if you wanna check those out and learn more about who slugging might benefit and who may want to step away from the slugging practice. Petrolatum based ointments, they've been used in medicine for a long time. They help protect healing wounds, facilitating recovery, barrier repair, and they are great anti-chafing agents. And petrolatum is an FDA approved over-the-counter skin protectant. What exactly is a skin protectant, you might ask? Let's consult the FDA. Their definition of a skin protectant is something that temporarily protects injured or exposed skin or mucous membrane surfaces from harm or annoying stimuli and may help provide relief to such surfaces. In medicine, we love petrolatum and we use it to help with healing and recovery of surgical wounds, burns, and skin grafts. Petrolatum is not absorbed through intact or injured skin. It is inert, low irritation potential, and it's almost unheard of for someone to develop an allergy. So if you're a surgeon and you've just cut out a skin cancer, or maybe you've had to do a skin graft, you wanna put something on it that's gonna facilitate healing but not cause irritation that would otherwise aggravate the healing wound. Petrolatum is a go-to, yada, yada, yada. Let's get into the differences. The first thing I will point out is that Aquaphor has been around for a long time. Beersdorf launched this product in 1925. CeraVe as a company has only been around since 2005. I'm not exactly sure what year they released the CeraVe healing ointment, but it was not one of their first products. So long story short, this is a baby in comparison to Aquaphor. Aquaphor has been around a lot longer. So that means there are more papers examining the efficacy of Aquaphor for a variety of issues. The active ingredient in both of these is the same. It is petrolatum. In Aquaphor, it's 41% petrolatum, whereas in CeraVe healing ointment, it's 46.5%. Whoopie do that's splitting hairs. No, one is not superior to the other because it has an ever so slightly higher percentage of petrolatum. When it comes to the ingredients in Aquaphor, the one ingredient that gets the most scrutiny and has the potential to cause problems for some people is going to be lanolin. Lanolin comes from the sebaceous oil gland of a sheep. It is very hydrating, very moisturizing, but there's something about lanolin, it's a wax alcohol, that is sensitizing and many people can develop go on to develop an allergy to it. You can imagine if you have an allergy to lanolin and you are trying to heal a cut, a scrape, or anything, and you go putting this on, your body is gonna mount a response to that lanolin. It's gonna cause a problem. It's gonna delay healing, take you several steps back. So the lanolin in this has always come under scrutiny. It can cause problems for some people. And the default is to say, well, plain petrolatum is a better choice in comparison to Aquaphor for healing wounds. But that's not what you guys are trying to do. You're just trying to slug. So long story short, unless you're allergic to lanolin, it's fine. You may want to avoid it because it is not a vegan ingredient, but otherwise there's nothing wrong with lanolin per se, unless of course you have an allergy to it. Overall, the ingredient list of this product is pretty short. It has mineral oil, another fantastic moisturizing ingredient and it has saracen, which is a type of wax, also gonna help reduce water loss out of the skin, panthenol, a conditioning agent, glycerin, a very sticky humectant, and then the last ingredient is another one that some people become allergic to. It's called bisabolol, bisabolol, bisabolol. It's anti-inflammatory, but some people do develop an allergy to that. So potential allergens in this are lanolin and bisabolol. If you have allergy to those, you can't use this. Otherwise, it performs pretty well. But moving over to CeraVe healing ointment, in terms of ingredients, again, petrolatum-based ointment, likewise has mineral oil. This has paraffin, it has ozocorite, which is a type of wax. This also has dimethicone, another skin protectant. 
And the signature set of ingredients in this product are three essential ceramides. Because this is CeraVe, they put the three essential ceramides in all of their products. And ceramides are a part of the fats in your skin and when applied exogenously, they may help in barrier recovery and healing. This also has cholesterol in it for helping with barrier recovery as well. Like Aquaphor, this has panthenol and it has uh, glycerin. Unlike Aquaphor, this has hyaluronic acid, a humectant that can help with hydration of the skin. CeraVe Healing Ointment has a lot more going on that could potentially provide additional benefit for your skin. It has hyaluronic acid and it has ceramides. Both of these are going to do the same thing in terms of reducing water loss out of the skin, but you may potentially appreciate more of a plumpness hydration to the skin with this just based on the ingredients and my personal experience using both of these i do personally find that this is a more hydrating product and i suspect it may be due to the fact that it has hyaluronic acid or maybe the ceramides are just helping this be more efficient with barrier recovery i'm not entirely sure but i do find that this product leaves the skin a lot plumper in comparison to this one. So that's a comparison of the ingredients between the two products. I happen to think that the ingredients in the CeraVe healing ointment are a bit more sophisticated and may potentially offer a bit more in terms of hydration and skin plumpness and skin firmness in comparison to Aquaphor. But it's not as though I have a paper backing that up that CeraVe healing ointment leads to better skin firmness, skin texture in comparison to Aquaphor. It's just my experience using both products and kind of going off the ingredients as well. Aquaphor retails roughly for $1.37 per ounce, whereas CeraVe Healing Ointment is a bit of an uptick in price at $1.66 per ounce. So CeraVe Healing Ointment is more expensive than Aquaphor. What about product performance? How do the two compare? It's actually quite subtle. If you blindfold yourself and put these things on, you may not notice any difference in terms of how they feel on the skin. For me personally, I do find that the CeraVe healing ointment is a lot easier to spread on the skin. Over the past several months, I have come to love body slugging. I do the slugging approach, but rather than using it on my face, I do it on my arms and legs. It has made a huge difference for me. In fact, I haven't really even been using body lotions or creams. I've just been doing the body slugging thing and it has been a game changer in my skincare routine. And I find for me personally that the CeraVe healing ointment it's ever so slightly better in terms of its spread on the skin. That could be because of the waxes that they incorporate are not as stiff as the final formulation of Aquaphor, or it could just be that I'm biased and I like CeraVe better. But I find that it's easier to spread on the skin. So if you're doing this on the face, I think that ultimately will make an even bigger difference for you. Both of these products do feel greasy on the skin. There's no difference in terms of that. And they both leave the skin immediately looking very shiny. You can't tell a difference between the two. And they both feel sticky immediately. If you walk around and you have a hair, it's gonna stick to you. You know what I'm talking about. Eventually, they both sink into the skin and the greasiness goes away. That does take some time and the time it takes is roughly the same for both products. These are gonna be greasy on the skin and they are going to stay greasy for a couple of hours. So be prepared for that. It's not the kind of thing you're gonna to wanna to grease up and then go flop on your expensive couch. You may mess up the fabric. But many of you may be interested in doing slugging to your face and you may be wondering, is one superior to the other in terms of performance? Ultimately, no. But in my experience, I do find that the effect of using CeraVe healing ointment to my face is a slight bit more impressive in comparison to Aquaphor healing ointment. I do find an improvement in skin texture, firmness, and hydration with this, especially when I use it to my eyelids. These ointments are fantastic as eye creams, as a side note. They really help reduce dryness and irritation of the eyelids. If you're experiencing any kind of irritation to the eyelids, these can be a great choice to protect eyelid skin. I find that after using CeraVe healing ointment, I notice an appreciable difference in fine lines around my eyes. And I ever so slightly noticed that with Aquaphor, but it's not the same as it is with CeraVe. Just in terms of a skin protectant, both products 
function equally well. Skin protectants are wonderful for a variety of skin issues. If you are susceptible to chafing, whether it be under the arms, abdominal folds, between the thighs, either product you're gonna love, it's gonna reduce that frictional force on the skin. You may find that the CeraVe healing ointment maybe has a bit more slip to it, possibly because of the dimethicone, but in my experience using both products, I find they equally perform well in terms of reduction of chafing. If you have a small child who is teething, drools a lot, and is getting a rash around their mouth, both products are wonderful to protect the skin around the mouth from saliva. Likewise, if you find that you drool a lot in your sleep, you're getting some breakdown of the skin at the corners of the mouth, that's known as angular chelitis. Both products perform fantastic for protecting the skin in this area from saliva. Again, if you have a young child and they are getting diaper rash, both products will protect the skin from the moist, irritating environment of the diaper. If you fall down, scrape your knee, get a cut, both products are going to perform equally well in terms of improving healing of that cut. Just wash the cut with a little soap and water, rinse it clean, and then apply the petrolatum ointment, whether it be CeraVe or Aquaphor, whichever one you so choose. Both of these products are also fantastic for dry cracked fingers, dry hands, and for dry cracked heels. There's no difference in how either of these products perform. I am somebody, I you know, I run and I develop a lot of callus. My feet can look quite gargoyle ask if i don't stay on top of foot care petrolatum ointments are a go-to and i find that both of these perform equally well if you happen to be cooking and you get a little superficial thermal burn maybe a grease splash or you just hit your hand on the stove or maybe your curling iron your flat iron what have you both of these are a great choice for helping recovery of that superficial burn. While both products are great for minor cuts, burns, and scrapes, don't use either one if you sustain a puncture wound because in that situation, you're introducing potentially bacteria and pathogens deeper down into the skin. The last thing you wanna do is just go covering that up. You wanna seek medical attention in those cases uh, rather than self-treat with with an ointment because you could be trapping the bacteria down deep in the skin and get a more serious infection. Now that I've compared the ingredients, product texture, and performance between the two products, which one actually is better? In my opinion, it depends on what it is that you're looking to get out of the product. In terms of having something in your first aid kit to address minor scrapes, cuts, and burns, I would say Aquaphor. Likewise, if you have a baby at home who's developing drool rash or diaper dermatitis, I would say Aquaphor. If you are looking for something to reduce chafing, Aquaphor. If you are looking to improve dry cracked heels, dry hands, I would say Aquaphor. Why? Because it's been around the longest and it's the least expensive for these minor day-to-day -day things. However, if you are looking to do the slugging thing on your face and you want more aesthetic bang for your buck, you're looking to improve fine lines, wrinkles, skin texture, I really do think that the CeraVe healing ointment brings something additional to the table and is definitely worth the ever so slightly increased price point. Now, of course, you can become allergic to any ingredient at any time or place, but if you already have an allergy to lanolin or bisabolol, then Aquaphor is off the table. But if you are someone who already has a bunch of allergies to skincare ingredients, confirmed allergies, then I would say go with just plain Vaseline and abandon both of these. Why? Because it just has petrolatum and you remove a lot of unknowns. I also think that the CeraVe healing ointment brings a little bit something extra to the table when it comes to addressing fine lines and wrinkles on the eyes and treating the lips. Now, if you've got chapped lips, both products are gonna help, period, if you have chapped lips. But the CeraVe healing ointment really brings a, an additional aesthetic layer to things. It just brings a little bit of extra plumpness, hydration, and makes the lips look fuller. In some cases, I happen to think it almost provides a temporary increase in fullness just by the hydrating effects of the product, and I think it performs much better. But if you're somebody who is on Accutane and you're getting the peeling lips, both products are a great choice. And Aquaphor is going to be more cost effective. I mentioned the eyelids. I, in my personal experience, I just happen to find that the CeraVe healing ointment really, really, really brings about a very noticeable improvement in the look of fine lines around the eyes in comparison to Aquaphor healing ointment. Now, both products 
perform equally well in terms of actually protecting the skin from irritating things. So either would be a fantastic choice, but you get a little bit of extra aesthetic bang for your buck with the CeraVe healing ointment, in my opinion. And I really do think that it brings something additional to the table, just in terms of improving the appearance of the skin and the skin texture, possibly because of the inclusion of additional hydrating ingredients and barrier repair ingredients. All right, you guys, those are the two products. That's how they compare. Let me know though in the comments, are you team Aquaphor or are you team CeraVe healing ointment or do you not mess with either one? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.